Taylor now in the ring. Wrapping up the live workout here on Matchroom. And she, this is a moment you've been waiting for, know, Molly. What know. do you have to say now about I've waited, KT? I've waited an hour and 15 minutes for this moment. Um, she's looking lean. She's looking strong. She's looking focused as always. And um, as always, an honour to be in this woman's presence. Hi, Edward. How are you? I'm all right. Good, good. I know. Honour to be in Eddie Hearn's presence always. now. No, I'm honoured to be in Molly McCann's <laughs> presence. I love you know. Eddie. Um, it's amazing. He's invited me out to come and see Katie. He knows how much I love her. I love the sport of boxing. And um, honestly, I'm still standing here shaking because it's just, it's such a moment in history. And, and we'll never forget where we was on April 30th and 2022. I know it's supposed to be hands only in this sport. What'd you think of her elbow? I, I was there. It was there. It was the first, <laughs> was the first UFC fight I've really been to. Like, and I was sitting, I was a yard away from the cage. It was unbelievable. She came out like a lunatic, and I was starting to thinking, she looks a bit tired here. It might go to points, and then just wham, wallop. I mean, that is how you become a star. You know, you create moments that just create earthquakes around the world across digital and social media. How many people watch that knockout? It was back? a tsunami. Yeah, I know. Eddie. And then she came straight out. And the funniest thing about that incident was she got in the ring, and I, saw, I was like, go on, Molly. You know, she saw me, she was like, oh, yeah. and then she won. Knocked out the opponent. He come out the cage. Start. I was sitting next to Dana White. Right. She's coming round. I'm going. I think she's going to cuddle me. <laughs> and as she got closer, I, I nearly went like that. And then she jumped straight and cuddled Dana White. Rightfully so, by the way. <laughs> but I did for a minute think that I was going to get a major moment. But However, no, I did say when I cross over post UFC, um, I'll be running and giving Eddie a cuddle yeah, every time yeah, I win in that yeah. ring. No, it's great. I think. Uh, it's always great to see, you know, young English, British athletes do so well. And Molly's become a real star in UFC. And, you know, right now you see on the screen one of the, the, the greats the of best. all time, Katie Taylor, who looks so good, so fresh, so spiteful in this fight. She really, honestly, I, I, I'm actually going for a Katie Taylor late stoppage in this fight. And I think that's not going to be a common pick from people. But I just feel like... She's got that eye of the tiger. She's got the spite in her. People look at Katie sometimes and think, softly spoken, oh, such a nice girl. And she is. But I'll tell you what, she's a fierce competitor. And she really wants to do a job on Amanda Serrano. And it's going to be a great fight. I've heard to say there was two fights that she wanted, and it was Pursuing, and it yeah. was this one. And she pulled it She pulled it out the bag for Pursuing. There, could, there was moments in that, in that fight she could have shied away, and she didn't. She came back, and she kept coming. And I believe... I, I'll let her with you. Uh, the bias is, is strong in me because I love her that much for what she's done. But she's yeah, we're, just, we're she's not very balanced in our opinions here, are we? You know? Do you want me to bring it back? But I apologise for Jake, it. Where's Jake? <laughs> yeah. I don't worry, he's told us everything's around him. <laughs> do, but uh, when we just think about this moment and this occasion, the, we said before the, the women's paths have come so different, but they're both here and it's... It's a time that it's yeah. just now. I said, Molly, that the great thing about this fight is, is there's a lot of people, sometimes broadcasters, commercial companies, who go, we should be supporting women's boxing because it's a good look, it's a good thing to do. And they should be supporting women's right. sport, right? But when it's actually good enough, when it's its own product, when it's standalone, and when it becomes irrelevant that it's male or female, that's when it's a special moment. So selling out Madison Square Garden for this fight, it's not full of people going, oh, let's go and support women's boxing. They're going, let's go and watch a great fight. Yes. You know, and the same when Molly fights now, and great stars of the UFC, they're not going, oh, it's Molly McCann, oh, it's female MMA. It's just, it's just she's a star. MMA, yeah. You know, and, and Nunes has done it, Ronda Rousey's done it, all people have done it before. And, and that's what's so important about this. And we need to eventually even stop talking about women's boxing and men's boxing. It's just boxing. And you know, I remember just a quick story I got on Katie Taylor because she, she does scare me. You know, and I remember once I had a great idea that I was going to do, on International Women's Day, a female fight night, right, with yeah. Katie headlining. Just female boxing. And I sat down. Because she thought it was the worst idea ever. I sat her down and went, great idea. International Women's Day, just women's boxing, you headlining. She was like... No, I was like, why? Well, because we don't want. I want to be standard. I want to be recognised for being a great fighter. Forget, for all all females on the card. Mm -hmm. Put some men on the card. Put this. It's, it's irrelevant. Just put great boxing on, and you're gonna see great boxing on Saturday night. You're gonna see. I've said it before. Some may may not agree. This is the Mayweather Pacquiao of, of the men's boxing, boxing. Right, just at a better time. Yeah. Because I paid a lot of money for my ticket that night. And I thought it was rubbish. <laughs> Well, I'm getting mine for free. So exactly. <laughs> well, we're going to be joined by Katie Taylor in a few moments. Oh, right. Like, it needs to be more than a 
more than just about winning the press release. It yeah. needs to, you know, you, you can't just go through the motions. Oh, with we'll, this. we'll use the media. Yeah. Right? Oh, it's the biggest fight in women's, and we'll use all that. But it's got to stand alone as a great fight, and it is. And you know, like, sometimes when people fight and the greats fight, you think, oh, sometimes it's a bit lackluster. There's not a chance either one of these are going to take a backward step. Yeah. You've just seen Serrano being handed something from Brooklyn. Like this is this is here, this is her arena, this is his, and this is Katie's legacy. So, oh, I'm on pins. Or I've slept all week ready for this one. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.